natural convection or free convection in case of natural convection or free convection the heat transfer the heat transfer rate is due to molecules which gain very low velocity due to the temperature difference the density changes are very less the difference between the molecules near the solid wall and the surrounding fluid in case of free convection no external agency is used like pumps fan or blower which are very commonly used in the forced convection so thus the movement is not taking place due to the external force rather the motion of the fluid takes place due to the buoyancy action in the natural convection or free convection the heat transfer the flow is classified into two categories on the basis of grashof number as laminar and turbulent flow whereas in the forced convection we can identify laminar or turbulent flow on the basis of reynolds number the grashof number is defined as the ratio of buoyant force to the viscous force the expression for grashof number is beta multiplied by g multiplied by theta characteristic length q divided by kinematic viscosity square g is the acceleration due to gravity and is fixed value 9.81 meter per second square theta is called as excess temperature is the difference between the wall temperature and the surrounding fluid temperature always take positive value lc is a characteristic length and is measured parallel to the boundary layer as the fluid grows as the boundary layer grows along the surface beta is called coefficient of volume expansion for gases the beta is equals to 1 upon tm where tm should be in kelvin is you have to add 273 and the mean temperature is tw plus infinity divided by 2 remember it must be in kelvin for liquids beta you have to obtain from the tables properties of fluid you have to consider at mean temperature that is tw plus infinity tw plus infinity divided by 2 normally air properties are given on page number 34 your page number may change and water properties are on page number 22 please check your tables now how to use the correlations so i will give you a brief idea about this one you have to check the position geometry and then select the table normally data is given available in two cases one is gr into pr to the power 10 to the power 9 and greater than 10 to the power less than 10 to the power 9 and greater than 10 to the power 9 the product of grashof number and the prandtl number is sometimes called as rayleigh's number so ra equal to gr to pr ra is less than 10 to the power 9 then natural convection is considered as laminar and if ra is greater than 10 to the power 9 it is considered as turbulent for vertical cylinder or vertical plate lc equals to l if ra is less than 10 to the power 9 the table number is 1.1 if r is greater than 10 to the power 9 use table number 1.2.1 for natural convection table for horizontal cylinder lc is taken as diameter d we have variety of correlations for different ranges of rs that is the product of gr pr for this one use table number 3.1 on page number 136 8 please check your table numbers and page number for horizontal plate we have two cases the top plate is hot and bottom plate is cold or bottom plate is hot and cold upper plate is the top plate is cold in this case lc is given by as that is the surface area of the plate divided by perimeter you have to select table number 2.1.1 which is on page number 136 a horizontal pipe 30.5 cm in diameter is maintained at temperature of 250 degrees celsius in a room where ambient air is at 20 degrees celsius calculate convection heat loss per meter length of pipe properties are given to you in this numerical velocity is not given so it's a problem of natural convection check the position we have a horizontal position and we have pipe it means that we have a free convection case our geometry is pipe and the pipe is horizontal so we can take a case of horizontal cylinder we have to just check out our rayleigh's number which is a product of what gr and pr find out gr and pr we required characteristic length lc now in this one we'll see how the boundary layer will grow so we have a diameter of cylinder equals to 5 length equals to is not given so we'll assume 1 meter diameter is 30 0.5 cm now this is the molecules of steel air which is at 20 degrees celsius and right now the cylinder is at 250 degrees celsius 
so molecules near the wall will get heated up and they gain the velocity because they become the lighter as compared to the surrounding fluid now this boundary layer will grow as we move from the bottom to top so as compared to the steel air the cylinder is hot and the air is cold so there is zero boundary layer at the bottom surface and the boundary layer will grow along the diameter so this color will indicate the boundary layer growth over the solid cylinder so you have to measure the dimension parallel to this that will be called as characteristic length inside this one there is a movement of molecule and outside the molecules are stationary so this region is called as boundary layer so characteristic length will be equals to lc parallel to boundary layer so we have to first calculate grashof number for this we collect the property so mean temperature is t wall plus t infinity divided by 2 that is 250 plus 20 divided by 2 which is 270 divided by 2 is 135 for here you have to calculate beta as 1 upon 1 1 upon tm that should be in Kelvin. So I am adding here plus 273 to convert degree Celsius into Kelvin. So 1 upon 135 plus 273 will be 408 Kelvin. That unit is per Kelvin. Beta is called excess temperature is T wall minus T infinity. So we have 250 minus 20 degree Celsius is 230 degree Celsius. So Grashof number equals to beta multiplied by G multiplied by theta multiplied by LC cube divided by nu square. Put all this value. Beta will adjust later on. First of all we will start with G 9.81. Beta equals to 230 lc is a diameter which is equals to 0 0.305 cube of this quantity now we will write the beta term here that equals to 408 so one beta is adjusted as 1 upon 408 into kinematic viscosity square 26.25 10 to the power minus 6 square normally Grashof number is very large and usually you prefer to write in 10 to the power something 9 or 11 so Grashof number is 2.27 into 10 to the power 8. To select the table, we have to find out the product of GR into PR. Then we can use the table on 3.1 page number 138. Every time I will say the page number but as for your addition the page number may vary. The correlation was available in the form of C multiplied by GR PR to the power M. You have to first check the range of GR PR. Then you can select the corresponding number C and corresponding number M. So if you check out the product of GR into PR, you will get the C equals to 0.125 and M equals to 0.33. So you have to write your correlation as 0 0.125 into GR into PR to power M that is 0.33. Substitute all this value. GR as 2.27 10 to the power 8. Prandial number as 0 0.68 to the power 0.33. Nusselt number come out to be 66.7. But Nusselt number is HLC by K, where LC you know and K you know. So H equals to 66.7 divided by LC is 0 0.305, K is 0 0.0234. Heat transfer is 5.11 coefficient. These values are very small as compared to force convection because the fluid is moving with a very low velocity. Heat transfer is given by AS into multiplied by H multiplied by T wall minus T infinity. Surface area is perimeter multiplied by length multiplied by h into Tw minus T infinity. Perimeter is pi d. So this is pi into 0 0.305. We have to calculate per meter length. So we assume L equals to 1. H value we have 5.11. Wall temperature is 250 and the fluid temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So heat transfer is 1127.8 watts. A vertical pipe of 10 cm diameter at outer surface of 100 is kept in a room at 20 degrees Celsius. The pipe is 3 meter long and you have to calculate the heat loss from 1 meter. So velocity is not given so this is a numerical of free convection. The position of the pipe is vertical so characteristic length will be equals to LC. But remember one thing you want to calculate the heat transfer from only 1 meter whereas the length is given as 3 meters. Diameter is 10 cm that equals to 0.1 meter. The total length is 3 meter. The surface of cylinder is maintained at 100 degrees Celsius. The surrounding fluid is at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. So this blue dot indicate the stationary air and which is cold as compared to the wall of cylinder. So in this case the boundary layer will grow from the bottom to top. At bottom the boundary layer thickness will be equals to 0 and as we move along the top surface the boundary layer will go on increasing so inside this region there is a movement of fluid molecules so this line indicates the boundary layer inside this one we have continuous movement of the fluid particles that is the air molecules due to temperature difference 
outside the air is stationary. In case of natural convection, the characteristic length is measured parallel to the boundary layer thickness. So LC will be same as 3 meters. We have mean temperature equals to T wall plus T infinity divided by 2 that equals to 100 plus 20 divided by 2 equal to 60 degrees Celsius. Since the surrounding fluid is air, we have to calculate the coefficient of thermal expansion that is beta is given by 1 upon Tm plus 273 must be in Kelvin. So 273 plus 60 is 1 by 333 units per Kelvin. Theta is called as excess temperature is given by the difference of hot fluid minus hot minus cold is 100 minus 20 that equals to 80 degrees Celsius. <coughs> so everything is known to us. So we can calculate Grashof number. Grashof number is given by beta multiplied by g multiplied by theta multiplied by LC cube by kinematic viscosity square. So put this value. G is 9.81. Theta is uh, 80. LC is 3 cube. Even you have to calculate for 1 meter, you have to calculate LC. You have to put LC equal to 3 meter. Kinematic viscosity is given to us is 18.97 10 to the power minus 6 and square of this term. So Grashof number is 1.76 10 to the power 11. Let's define the problem. We have a natural convection. We have a vertical cylinder. Now you have to select the correlation. We have to first find out GR, PR. Now we have given the value of GR equal to 1.76 10 to the power 11. Prandtl number is given as 0.696. So the product will come as 1.23 into 10 to the power 11. Now if you go to the table, you will find that this number is more than 10 to the power 9. So the flow is turbulent. So I have to probably go to the table number 2. So go to the table number 2.1 as per my data book. Page number is 136. Most commonly used correlation is mentioned there for vertical is given by Nusselt number. So Nusselt number based on length is given by 0.1 GR PR to the power 0.3. 3. So can put for GRPR. So we get 0.1 into 1.23 10 to the power 11 and whole power is 0.33. So Nusselt number based on total length that is 3 meter is equals to 493.1. Now in the case of vertical plate if you see check your table at the bottom we are given the correlation to convert from NUL to NU bar that is a for calculate average heat transfer coefficient. So we have NU bar equals to 5 by 4 NU. For laminar flow this ratio will be 4 by 3 and for turbulent this ratio is 4 by 5 by 4. So you have to first calculate what is the average value of Nusselt number using this relation as 5 by 4 into 493.1. So average Nusselt number come out to be 616.4. Now this average number represents the average heat transfer coefficient multiplied by LC divided by K. So average heat transfer will be equals to 616.4 and the value of L is 3 meters. Don't put 1 meter. Still you have to calculate for 3 meters only. So average heat transfer coefficient over a length of 3 meter is 5.95 watts per meter square Kelvin. Now for calculation of heat transfer for 1 meter, we will consider area of 1 meter now. That is we will take only 1 meter instead of 3 meters. So we have equation of heat transfer by convection as H multiplied by area multiplied multiplied by T wall minus T infinity. The value of H is we have to use as average heat transfer coefficient and surface area is perimeter multiplied by length and the difference is Tw minus T infinity. Perimeter you have to take for only length you have to take for 1 meter only. So we have H equals to 5.93 circumferential perimeter is pi into D. D is 0.1 length we are interested only for 1 meter so multiplied by 1 so the wall temperature is 100 and T infinity equal to 20. Solve this equation to obtain the value of Q. Final answer is 149.54 watts. Multiplied by K is 0 0.02896. A rectangular plate 0.2 meter by 0.4 meter is maintained at uniform temperature of 80. It is placed in atmosphere air at 24. Compare the heat transfer from the plate for the two cases when the vertical height is 0.2 meter and other time is 0.4 meter. Velocity is not given in the numerical, hence this represents the free convection numerical. The wall temperature is given to us is 80 degrees Celsius. The fluid temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. So excess temperature is Tw minus T infinity that is 80 minus 24 is 56 degrees Celsius. Mean temperature is Tw plus T infinity divided by 2. So 8 plus 24 is 104 divided by 2 is 52 degrees Celsius. The surrounding fluid is air so we have to take the coefficient of thermal expansion as 1 upon Tm plus 273. 
So is 1 upon 52 plus 273 is 325 per Kelvin. Properties are not given. So we will collect the property of air at mean temperature of 52 degrees Celsius. But 52 is not available in table. So you can approximately take to 50 degrees Celsius. The property collected are first is kinematic viscosity at 50 degrees Celsius is 0 0.0286 per meter kelvin Randall number is 0.698 kinematic viscosity we required for Grashof number 17.95 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per second both cases we required the heat transfer so initially we'll calculate the area available is w into l is 0 0.2 multiplied by 0.4 is 0 0.08 meter square so this time you have to solve for two different cases let the first case is vertical height is 0.2 meter in this time the bondular will glow parallel to the vertical side so LC will be same as 0.2 so let's calculate Grashof number using beta multiplied by G multiplied by theta multiplied by LC cube divided by nu square so put all this value and you can calculate Grashof number beta you have to put as 1 by 325 G is 9.81 beta equals to 6 so your number is come out to be 4.19 10 to the power 7 to use table we first calculate GR PR Prandtl number is given as 0.698 so we have an answer of 4.19 10 to the power 7 multiplied by 0 0.698 GRPR come out to be 2.97 10 to the power 7 so this number is less than 10 to the power 9 so expected flow is laminar now this define our problem very clearly we have a natural convection we have a plate and the plate is vertical and GRPR is less than 10 to the power 9 this table also we are given the two equation one is NUL and one is NU bar the NU bar equation is going at the bottom so take care of this problem so let's calculate first the NUL is based on the total length that is LC so model is constant wall temperature so we'll use NUX equal to 0 0.508 PR to the power 0 0.5 0.952 in plus PR to the power minus 0 0.25 and GRX to the power 0 0.25 substitute for PR equal to 0 0.698 and GR equal to 4.19 10 to the power 7 solve for local nusselt number we are putting for X equal to L so we'll get NUL equals to NUL come out to be 30 now we have equation of NUL and NU bar at the bottom of the table for laminar flow this equation will be nu bar equals to 4 by 3 of nul so 4 by 3 multiplied by 30 30 means 10 is answer is 40 now nu bar is defined as h bar multiplied by lc divided by k so we want to calculate the average heat transfer coefficient over the vertical length of 0.2 meter so average value will be 40 multiplied by k 0 0.0286 and LC is 0.2 so average heat transfer is 5.6 now we can calculate Q equal to surface area multiplied by H bar multiplied by TW minus T infinity surface area already calculated is 0 0.08 H bar is 5.67 all temperature is 80 and the fluid temperature is 24 when the smaller side is kept vertical the heat transfer come out to be 50.8 hertz try to repeat this exercise for other size that equal to 0.4 so vertical height this time is 0.4 meter so naturally the boundary layer will also grow parallel to the height so LC will be equal to 0.4 and other dimension is 0.2 so to repeat for GR calculation use the same value except LC equals to 0.4 we get GR equals to 3.35 10 to the power calculate GR PR having same 3.35 10 to the power 8 multiplied by 0.698 so this time also GR PR will come less than 10 to the power 9 so you have to use the same correlations so it is slightly lengthy problem now because the correlation we have selected is very lengthy so repeat this procedure put all this value recalculate and check your NUL will be equals to is 50.47 it is known that NU bar will be equals to 4 by 3 of NUL so NU bar will be equals to 67 so we can calculate H bar equals to NU bar multiplied by K divided by LC so 67 multiplied by 0 0.028 divided by LC LC is 0.4 so we get value of H bar equals to 4.75 so we have a same equation of Q that was given to us so we have surface area multiplied by H bar multiplied by T wall minus T infinity surface area is 0 0.08 T wall is 80 and 50 24 you can substitute all these 42.75